right, we're here. Yo. Yo, yo. Mochi, what are you doing? Look at this thing. What? What do you want? You ripped everything up! That's not good. All right, yo, yo. I think what we'll do is just play Bolt Gun. Honestly, I think that's just what I want to do. I just want to chill out. Fuck around with Bolt Gun and then call it a day. Bolt Gun into sleep, into wake up, into the same thing. Ever since I had, uh, what's the word? Ever since I logged in on OBS to my Steam, my Twitch accounts, it's been so much easier to stream. I can literally, instead of signing in and out of multiple Twitch accounts, I can sign into two Twitch accounts in one place, load it up, and based on what screen I choose, it goes to each stream. So, like, as an example, if I open up this stuff, it puts me on the second stream. If I was to open up the old Tobias Fate stuff on the other channel, it would put me on that stream. And I get the chat, I get the uh, stream information and all that crap so I can change the game, change whatever. It's really fucking convenient. Instead of going into your phone, authenticating it, fucking swapping accounts, whatever. Like, it's good. It's really good. Well, someone had bought the game, so we're playing it, that's why. We had a $20 donation to buy Bolt Gun, and now, now we just play Bolt Gun. Yes, we're chilling. We are severely chilling. That was Tarek. Yeah, Tarek did it. So thank that guy. Okay. Pretty sure I'm only on, like, mission four or five of this game. I don't know how many missions are in Bolt Gun, but I'm assuming I'm almost done. Maybe. I'd hope so. The game is good, though, for sure. What do you think about the trench coat dwarven kill team? It's good. It looks good. People thought initially, like, oh, why the hell are they wearing trench coats? This isn't, you know, aesthetic hammer. It's supposed to be believable hammer. I mean, they're scouts, bro. They gotta wear stuff that don't necessarily weigh them down. But it looks good. They look good. Of all the things to complain about, they complained about the trench coats. Kind of a weird thing. I know you've been asked this a million times. Thoughts on the upcoming Thrones of Decay? It's good. I mean, it looks amazing. The dwarves are, like, eating the best out of Nurgle and Empire, so... You can't really go wrong with that, right? Like, of all the races to get content in the game, in Thrones of Decay, the dwarves are coming out as, like, number one. They've got new units, they've got old unit reworks, like, the new units are fucking crazy at that, right? Like, even the Empire has a bunch of cool stuff, but I don't think it trumps the Dwarven, you know, Thunder Barge or, like, Malachi. The character reworks, the campaign rework, like, it's pretty crazy.
Hey, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Yeah, this game does look really good. It, it looks good. It plays good. It was 20 bucks. I didn't pay for it, but, you know, 20 bucks is pretty cheap. At least for a game like this, I'd like to think. The red key card? I don't think I've even seen a red door. I've seen purple door. The bitrate dips make the chat overlay also pixelated. Bitrate dips? There's dips in bitrate? Uh, sorry, bitrate? I'm streaming at 8,000 bitrate. There shouldn't be any dips, no? It has the same graphics as Dread Delusion. Well, I mean, either way, it looks good. No, I know it's unavoidable. I'm just saying. I didn't think it was that bad. There's a lot of, like, when it comes to Twitch streaming, or streaming on any platform for that matter, when it comes to, like, setting up things and putting in numbers and, you know, applying different settings and whatnot, it takes a very long time to find, like, tune everything to make it work. And with the changing of, like, two settings, you could basically fix everything. You know, if you really knew about, you know, streaming and video quality and whatever bitrate audio settings too if you really want to make things sound good if you're knowledgeable on any of this you can make your stream look really damn nice but again for most people who aren't knowledgeable and who just kind of like turn the stream on and, and do their thing it kind of sucks because like your pc is capable of more it's just you don't know how to make it better Okay, he's just dead. Oh my god, there's like three aspiring champions. What the fuck? Why are there so many champions? Jesus Christ.
I'm so dead. <laughs> Bro, they fucking bolt at you. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think I need to kind of like camp in one little area. Ideally. It's just kind of hard to see in here. Please, where are you, heretics? I must end your miserable, disgusting lives. Hello? Where is anybody? Show yourself, scum! Is there even a point to melee in this game? Like, do you actually heal for meleeing? Like, killing people with the chainsword? Does this matter? Because I feel like it just doesn't. I mean, it's cool, but like, is there a reason to do it? I, yeah, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Dude, the aspiring champions are cheating. Holy fuck, there's so many of them. Why are there so many aspiring champions? How do you even beat three of them? Like, even with the heavy bolter, they just kind of tank a billion shots and run at you at, like, Mach 5. And then also have, like, a res. Because they've got, like, two different phases to killing them. Oh, here they come. Scum! Maybe to escape certain situations, because, like, using the chainsword kind of locks you on. Don't you stop. Don't you stop, man. Barking at nothing, dude. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. 
Okay, he just likes barking at the wall. There's nothing there, baby moat. There's nothing. You're okay. Okay. Yes, the mochi. The, the lovely mochi emotes. God bless you. God bless you, brother. There's a lot of mochi emotes. Okay, I'm supposed to be leaving this room? The number one thing I could never figure out in the last few missions is where to go when you're done with a room like this. It kind of takes me a couple of minutes to figure out where the fuck the exit is, let alone even, like, the right way. Confuses him into thinking you took it. Oh, is it really? That's like some deep tech, bro. That's like the dog tech to get him to stop. Is this it? This is not it. This is where I came from. So that's where I came from. But where do I go? The last few missions of this game were pretty... like, confusing. No, he's right here. I don't know if I'm supposed to... Is this the way? I think this is it. Oh, this is it. Perfect. We're back in the main room. I'm still missing the purple key. Did I not get it from that room? Previously? I've only got the red key. He wants to see if I took care of it? Yeah? Hey, dogs learn, man. They can also be fooled, unfortunately. We love them, but like, sometimes you gotta fool them. Okay, where is the purple key? Clearly the purple key should be down here, because I've only got the red key. Like, this shit is confusing sometimes. Where are we going? Unless it's just not down here? What was the drama? It was drama on Twitter. Leave it on Twitter. Let everyone decide their own opinions. Fuck the drama. I just want my dwarves. That's all I care about. Jesus. But where is the key? Was the red key the only thing that mattered here? Maybe it was. Maybe I just go back. The game is good, yeah. It's fun. It's simple fun. It's just turn your brain off and enjoy it type of fun. Although, to be fair, there are instances here where, like, I am kind of struggling periodically. It does get very hectic. Like, okay. Like, I don't even want to imagine how hard it is on the hardest difficulty, because to be honest, if you were to take any damage from anything, you'd probably be fucked. And I'm playing on normal, and I'm losing half the time, so... Maybe I'm just not good. 
Yeah, I would imagine it's very fucking hard. I hope everything is good with you. Yes, we're good, we're good. Thank you, buddy. We are bing chilling. I don't know if I'm able to finish this game today because I think there's like... Uh, I don't even know how many missions, but we'll see. The number one thing with starting a game is you need to finish the game. Like, not always, but ideally you do. You know? Okay, can I sit in the corner for two seconds? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, there's just so many games out there, and I can understand people kind of getting bored halfway through them. What the fuck? My eyes. What am I looking at? That just hurts my eyes, bro. What is this? What is that? Only complaint about this game in Classic Doom as well is that halfway point, the enemy variety really drops off. I don't think I've even seen a boss. Actually, come to think of it, I've seen, like, the Greater Plague Toad or, like, the Exalted Flamer. Is that even considered a boss? Because I don't think I've seen one yet, if not. But, I mean, it's, it's you know, the biggest thing about this game is that it's a Warhammer title that... I'm sure a lot of people played, even if they're not even into Warhammer, or didn't even know about Warhammer, right? Like, we need more things for Warhammer than not. At least, quality things. Not talking about, like, 50 mobile games. We do not need 50 Warhammer mobile games, none of which are probably worth playing. Or all of which. YouTube. YouTube videos, the wiki. I mean, I think a lot of people who get into Warhammer don't necessarily want to do the hobby. Although the hobby is kind of where the good shit is at, you know? Because I think for the longest time, the reason people didn't want to get into Warhammer was mainly because figuring anything out meant you had to read, and not everyone was interested in reading, or not everyone was interested in, you know, spending all this time trying to, like, figure out what's in what book, and oh, I want to know about this and that, and oh my god, how old is this? Can I even have access to this anymore? And I think the biggest thing was that when Warhammer decided to go and be popular on YouTube, like a lot of people decided to upload content about it. That's when I think it really took off, because it was a way for people to get into the hobby uh, through an easier medium, which is just watching a, a video, right? Because people do want content that they can consume, right? If you, if you can't read a book for whatever reason, which by God, I really don't like reading, I like the stories and whatnot, but reading isn't my favorite thing. You know, you'd rather have YouTube videos. People who have read the stuff and they kind of, like, summarize it. They put it into more of a, uh... Enjoyable format for people, instead of a bunch of text. It's just the way Warhammer was, like, always presented. It wasn't the most inviting. Wasn't the most accessible. And... In today's times, it couldn't be... 
couldn't be more accessible, honestly. This is a very accessible universe. Well, the entry, it, the barrier can be big if you really want to play, like, the actual hobby. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, that is, that's just money, right? You need a lot of money to start it. Well, it's just expensive. The hobby itself is very expensive. Like a box of units, which is one piece of a puzzle, is like 60 to to $100, right? <coughs> Depending on what you like, things are going to be more expensive or less expensive, but either way, it's still going to be a lot. If you want to get into the actual miniatures game, it is a lot of money. But, you know, using YouTube is free, as long as you... Pay for your internet bill, right? Or like, you know, yoink Wi-Fi. Uh, okay. I use my McDonald's Wi-Fi. Do you really? God bless you. How do you yoink Wi-Fi? Oh, there's the fucking purple key. Thank God, man. Wait, the purple key just opens the door that we left through? So what the fuck am I supposed to do? Is this was also opened? Am I missing a key? Maybe there's a different purple door? Yo, yo. I've got an Ethernet cable right to their router. Do you really? You're just like, you drag it through the McDonald's front door and just plug it in? Through the fucking ball pit? Better quality and cheaper than AOS? Well... I, the reason the old world stuff is so expensive is because they give you so many miniatures. It's literally just based on how much shit you're getting. That's it. Like, the, the big battle forces for old world compared to, like, you know, the generic starter sets for 40k or AOS. Uh, yeah, they're a little expensive. I think, like, the basic battalion box, if that's what they even call it these days for, like, the old world. I think it's about, what, like 200 bucks compared to a uh, combat patrol or even, I think they call them Vanguard, not Vanguard, Spearheads for AOS, which all are around maybe like 100 bucks. 
And that's just the minis. Like, that's not even included tools or paints or anything. So, like, if you really do want to start Warhammer, you're probably investing two to three hundred dollars minimum to start it at, like, a decent level. Oh my god. It's a fucking Lord of Change. Okay, so here's the first boss of the game. I haven't seen no great unclean one. I haven't seen none of that shit. It's a Lord of Change. He's gonna make me change my underwear. Jesus. You filth! Heavy bolter! Okay, it's too much. Where the fuck did he go? Sweet! Well, the kill team boxes are pretty good too, yeah. I just think for people who are starting, you know, it's a little bit more enticing to probably buy, like, a combat patrol, because you get a few units instead of just one. They're a little bit more generic as well, I suppose. Who's shooting me? Who dares shoot me? Who dares shoot me? Get me out of here, man. Pretty sure the way out is probably below this place. Like right here. Is that all oh, you've got? You must have more. And just like that, a single ultramarine took out a lord of change. Yeah. Is that the whole game? Don't tell me that's the whole game. Okay, good. Sanctum Magistratum. This is actually canon. I have 25 hours left? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, yeah, you do have to buy a lot. When it comes to useless shit that's just fun, you pay a lot of money. You really do. If you want to enjoy life with miniatures and painting and hobbying, you are going to spend some serious money. Oh, my fucking eyes! I mean, to me, this looks more like the last mission in the game, but I'm probably wrong.
Wait, there's 15 bosses? And I've only killed the first boss. Sorry, what? Wait, this game is cracked if that's the case. Holy shit. Not 15 different bosses. Oh, 15? Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. Is there really 15 different ones? This is a uh, Warhammer bolt gun. Recently, I've just been buying the 3D printed copies of miniatures, which is cheaper. It is cheaper, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the biggest thing you gotta remember is if you like the look of something and it's cheaper, I mean, that's just, that's just a bonus, right? Because I think realistically, what it comes down to is aesthetics. Right? If you like the look of a miniature and you don't like the look of another one, you should probably go for the one you like the look of. Right? My fucking health? worse quality painting wise I mean I wouldn't say so it just depends on like depends on the printer depends on the sculptor like you know there's a bunch of things going into it for the for the most part you know painting them is kind of the same thing it's just like yeah there's gonna be fucking uh, print lines potentially if the resolution isn't good enough so on and so forth but it is much cheaper like 3d printing as well though has gotten yeah it's gotten really good Jesus Christ. Help me, Emperor, help! There's too many of them. I'm running out of ammo. You know, I can't even tell how these things hit you, I'm not gonna lie. Not to mention they move very ghoulishly. Well, you don't have to. Nobody paints everything. I mean, that's just subjective, right? Like, if you wanted to paint everything like a uh, competition piece, you could. But some people just, you know, slap paint on it and they're good. They're happy. It's just whatever you're into, right? Oh, 
Dodgy start. That is true, yeah. Tabletop simulator is really good. Bark with him to help. It's not working, bro. It didn't work. I mean, it kind of worked. Did it? Did you save me, Mochi? Stop it! Stop it, BB Mochi! Stop! Why are you yapping? Chill out. No one's coming to kill us. Not yet. We're not John Wick, for God's sake. The end is nigh. Dude, these aspiring champions are such crackheads. They're such crackheads. Bye. Well, I assume the only way out is through here. These maps are pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. The maps are cool. All these weird fucking portals and shit leaning around. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Imagine multiplayer on this map? Yeah, I don't know about that. Wait, what? What is this? Where the fuck am I even going? Uh... Okay... I'm like sideways now? Um... Uh... Yeah, where do I go? Down here? No, I'm in the same fucking place again. How strong is 140k marine? Yeah, I'd like to say very strong. Take on a whole army by himself in today's times, maybe? Wait, so, yeah, where do I go exactly? Do I go down here? Like, there's the portal I got out of. So where am I supposed to be? What the fuck? 
You follow the doors with the Chaos Star. Oh, is that really what it is? I guess that would make a bit of sense. Okay, so then I go through here. Um... Now I go through here. Now I go through here. If this is the case... Shit. So there's nothing here. That's the same Chaos Star? Am I wrong? What a mess. Candles. Oh, you're right. You're right. My bad. Look at this, eh? Genius. Holy Emperor has given us some holy candles to guide us in this most horrid place. Are we out? I think we're out. Look at that. Whoa. What even? Uh! This is like trippy, dude. Chaos. Is that a sorcerer? A zinch sorcerer? It is a sorcerer. Oh, it looks like a boss as well. I wonder if I have to kill all the ads before I could kill him. Maybe not. How do you even get up there? Shut up, you dick, and now fuck off! Barrel, thank you, buddy. Three years on this channel. Oh my god. How many sub emotes do you have? Sorry, not sub emotes. How many uh, badges? How many badges you got? Oh, you can get up here. Bro, get out of the way. Yeah, 30 months on this channel is uh, no joke. Thank you, buddy. I mean, wasn't there a time where I literally didn't even stream on this channel for like six months straight? I think that was a thing, right? Ian, yo, buddy. Four months. Damn, was that it? Can't even see, dude. Is that him, the sorcerer? It's not. How are we? We're good. Well, I'm good. I don't know about them. I'd hope everyone's doing good. It's almost Friday. Friday's a good day to be on.
Jesus. How do I even get to this guy? This dude is all the way over there. Like, do I climb? Oh, piss off. Shit. How do I kill you? Wasn't he up here? Oh, there he is. The fuck? Oh no, should he teleported away? What a clown. Doom Eternal? It's close enough, right? Damn, this guy is frustrating. You get like two shots on him and he runs away. You can't even get him. Oh, here he is. Never mind. Now you can, but I'm gonna die. And he doesn't even take damage, for God's sake. Relaxing and painting up some Necrons for a tournament. Yeah, I wish I could do something like that right now. Goddamn. The boss seems really hard in YouTube video. I saw it take a guy 30 minutes to beat him. Jesus. I mean, yeah, he's not even taking damage. You can kind of see him here and there. You shoot him a bit, and then he runs away. And then he comes back later. But he really doesn't take any damage. From what I can see. Where is he? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, maybe not 30 minutes, I'm not gonna lie, because, like, he is kind of getting his shit kicked in now, but... We're just gonna find him. Where is he? Hello, hello. I think he was just shooting at me now. Where is he? <laughs> Where did this guy go? Show yourself, you filth. Where are you? Come fight me. Oh, there he is. What's up, bro? Oh my god, he's already gone. Oh, there he is. Oh, 
god, that aim is so ass. Thank god. Oh, he's not- Oh, he's dead. What? What? I didn't know. We didn't kill him yet. Difficulty medium. Holy shit. Corrupted Canyon. I like the change of uh, scenery. That's cool. Eight psychers. <coughs> Excuse me. This game was made, what, last year? I think. This is, yeah, this is, uh, it's good. It is 100% one of the better Warhammer 40k games. Or even, I should say, Warhammer games in general. Absolutely. There are a lot of very, very bad 40k games, very bad 40... Well, not even... Well, everything. Everything Warhammer. Not even just 40k. Fantasy. I mean, for God's sake, I don't even think they do Age of Sigmar stuff as, as often as they probably should, considering it's popular. But some games stick, some games don't. Some are kind of... Kind of icky and brought on on the phone for some reason. Because mobile gaming is popular, apparently, with uh, Warhammer fans. But, I don't know about that one. Is this guy dead yet? I don't get mobile gaming in general, it's awful. It is awful. And I think the biggest appeal to it is that if you don't have a PC, well, you sure as hell have a phone so you can play phone games. That's basically it. That's the only thing I can see. Right? I mean, some people do love their mobile games, but for me, I... I'll play Raid Shadow Legends and Wild Rift. That's it. Two greatest games of all time on the phone. It's so good. Oh my god, it's a blight drone. Or a bloat drone. What the fuck? Toughness 7? I bolt her shit. I need 5s to hit it. Or to wound it. What do you think about the Rogue Trader game? Uh, I mean, it's not really for me. I know a lot of people like it, but I'm not really into role-playing. Or, like, more so turn-based stuff, you know? Like, tabletop? That's fine. But, in a game sense, it's not really my favorite thing. But it, it is doing well. Everyone lives by that game. You know? They'll, they'll swear by it till the day they die. And I'm pretty sure the game is also, what, like, a hundred plus hours to beat? From what I've heard? Super buggy. Was it really? Don't forget to use crack grenades. I haven't used the grenades since, like, the first mission of the game. I'm not gonna lie. I don't use grenades. What's the name of the sim table? Uh, if you're talking about playing the game online, it should be tabletop simulator. Like, the actual tabletop game. Tabletop sim is really good. It's excellent.
You know what? Here, we'll use a grenade. Well, they do kind of do a lot, eh? Damn. Okay. Maybe I should use grenades. Join the TTS Warhammer 40k Discord. Oh, God. Not that place. Oh, God. I think I left that Discord. The last time I was in it was like at the beginning of... Um, I think it was at the beginning of 10th edition or 9th edition. I'm not sure. And everyone was getting into it. TTS is Tabletop Simulator. And uh, the amount of like... Like, there's a, there's a lot of good people in the server, for sure. But there are a lot of bozos, man. Oh, my God. Even people who want to play games with you, big bozos. I had a guy join a game, and he sees my army. And uh, this is the least of your worries when this happens, by the way, because there's worse people. But, like, a guy had joined my game. I'm playing orcs. He's like, oh, I'm going to play Space Marines. And so he brings out his Space Marine army. He looks at my army, and he's like... Um, I'm gonna choose a different army. My army can't beat your army. And then he goes and he's like picking from 50 different armies that he made and he's like, this is gonna be good. Like, what? I don't think that's how that works. Like, people are, people are weird. And that's like the least of your worries. Like, there are people who quit mid-game. There are people who fucking flame the shit out of you. There are people who are super rude and super toxic and you're just sitting there moving little miniatures around in a fucking video game it's it's weird I don't get it man like at least he wasn't really a douche about it but it was just kind of a weird thing you know you typically don't you don't see your opponent's army and then say like hey I'm swapping my army like, you know, I was cool with it, whatever, and lo and behold, he fucking, like, melted my whole list. Because I think I was running, um... I had a bunch of boys, and he went from playing, like, Ultramarines to, uh, Salamanders, and it was just game over. Right? Like, Salamanders, the, for the release of, like, ninth or 10th or something, I forgot which edition, uh, just insta-kill hordes completely. Like, it was just unplayable in every way. I tried TDS Warhammer 40k once and I got called a loser for playing Sisters of Battle. I mean... It wasn't green. It wasn't mean. It's not full of muscle and ready to tussle. I mean, to be fair, you play what you want to play, bro. If you like it, you like it. That's cool, man. There ain't nothing wrong with that. If it ain't green, it ain't good. <coughs> Although, to be fair, I'm getting out of orcs. I'm no longer uh, playing the boys. Oops, what the fuck? I think the biggest thing is that if you do play Tabletop Simulator with a bunch of random people, like... You, you want to fight someone who's actually not the biggest doucher. And to be fair, there are a lot of people in that server who I'm sure are normal and aren't douchers, but, like, also assholes, right? Pretty sure every one in three games had, like, a piece of shit when I played. But that's just tabletop sim. That's like the Discord, man. When it comes to Discord and Warhammer, I mean, they don't really go hand in hand. At least if the server is public and it's full of people. It's not the greatest of places, but, you know, it is what it is. Most competitive people... Uh, crazily enough, crazily enough, I had ended up fighting a... Uh, at one point, I was searching for games, you know, competitive, casual, whatever. And I found a guy who was playing competitive orcs, and he was the biggest rules douche I've ever seen. Like, he, uh, he, was, he was yapping. He was a yapper. For absolutely no reason at all. 
Like, a lot of the stuff he was doing was just... It's not gameplay, but, you know... The way you talk to people when you're playing a game, it's like, Alright, bro. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. It's good, dude. And again, this was, like, at the beginning of 9th or 10th, when Tabletop Sim was kind of a big deal. I'm sure if you play now... Um... A competitive orc player is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. That's what I was doing, you know, periodically. If I couldn't find, like, a regular game, like, sure, I'll play competitive, whatever. But, like, when I did play 40k, that's all I would play. i just play orcs. Or guard. But that was, like, well before TTS. Okay, where am I supposed to be going? Where am I going? Hmm. Oh, that's where. Yeah, the new codex came out, and, uh... I haven't really... I haven't played 40k in... Oh, bastard, stop hopping around! I haven't played 40k in a while. Um, but I think for the most part, it's not, like... The game is getting a little bit more streamlined, so I'd assume people are getting a little bit less toxic and a little bit less, like, greasy about things, you know? But either way, at the end of the day, you're just there to have fun. So, if people want to have fun, great. If not, not so great. Yeah, peace, buddy. We'll see. Maybe I'll be on. I might take a break soon. <laughs> kind of have a headache, so I might just go chill with Mochi for a bit, watch, like, TV or something, and then come back later tonight. Yeah, exactly. Is this even the right way? What is? I mean, I'm just interested. If I was to get back into 40k, I would only want to play Votan. And right now, I think the only codex the Votan have are like the release codex, so it's incredibly outdated. I'm assuming any day now, there should be a Votan Wave 2 before the new book drops. Like, ideally. Because that army is... It is an army. With not many things going on. Yeah, well, that, that's what I was kind of saying, right? Like, I'm sure it's fine, but... In terms of flavor, there's not really much going on. Like, they did just show the new Hernkin... Like, kill team. The Hernkin on foot, which is cool. Like, we need a new jetpack unit. They have a jump pack unit leaked. I mean, there was one of them in the kill team box, and that was cool, but there was only one of them. So th there's no reason that you wouldn't get a full unit later down the line. If they get a big dreadnought unit, yeah, that'd be cool. Any sort of robots and shit like that. I'm loving this variety channel and the attention you are putting into it. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I do want to stream on both channels, obviously, but when it comes to this one, um, and when it comes to the coming months on this channel, because the main channel is not really going to change in terms of, like, content, but this one is going to go back to, like, hobbying, right? Like, I'll have this PC situated next to my hobby desk, because my, my situation right now is that I'm out here, 
I'm in fucking La La Land. I'm away from my stuff. We're moving back, indefinitely moving back to where all of my things are. So currently at my hobby desk, I have like a little business PC. It's crap. Uh, it doesn't work well. So the goal is to bring this PC back to the hobby desk. I have a very good PC that can play games, that can hobby. I can even hook up a new camera to it so it can fucking shoot things in like... Not, not 4K, because 4K is a bit too much, but, you know, like, a decent quality. And uh, the idea is stream on the main channel and go get dinner, go do stuff, and then get on this stream and then do hobbying. And it's all out of the same room. It's two separate PC setups, whereas right now I'm only working off one. But if you've got, like, a big hobby desk with all your shit... That kind of needs its own space, right? You can't really have a gaming setup around all of your stuff that you work on. At least in my opinion, it just won't work. So I'm, I'm waiting, dude. Honestly, right now, it's just a matter of time. I want to get back to hobbying. I want to do the new old world stuff. I want to stream, like, IRL things out of that room. Just do more, man. Because right now, I'm, I'm very limited to what I have. I started playing 40k a lot in 10th edition, and I have uh, a lot of fun in Meta... Oh, yeah, that's cool, man. People enjoy it, you meet good people, and it's just fun times, right? Like, the whole hobby is about having fun. Some people don't enjoy it, and yet they still stay in it and are mad 24-7, but, like, come on. 10th has been a breath of fresh air. Not perfect, but overall great fun. I haven't played, again, I the last time I played 40k was at, like, the beginning of Tabletop Sims Life. When everyone got into it during COVID, I think, for 40k. It was something like that. I haven't even, I haven't played an Age of Sigmar game. I haven't played an Old World game. I've played nothing. And I really want to. Because they've got all of those convenient, like, uh, do people still use Battlescribe? Or is the, I, I hear now that, like, the official 40k app is better than Battlescribe. I know they've got, like, the old world builder and different, like, apps that you can use to create armies and just be able to play the game immediately. Because right now, that's kind of what I'm missing, is just gameplay. Yeah, Space Marines are really fun to play. I hope that their new codex will be good. Are they slated to get a new one anytime soon? Like, I, I know they showed it during the, uh... During the recent, what, like, reveals? When they did the dwarves. When is that shit supposed to come out? Did they give a, an ETA? Like, any month now? Oh, right, yeah. The 40k app is good, but locked out of rules once the codex is released, unless you buy the book and use the code. It's the code in the back of the book, right? That, like, every book has. Wait, where am I supposed to go? One to two months, I hope so. I mean, that was an interesting thing, to basically have it where you buy the book and you get the physical book, but then you also get the digital copy of it, which is cool, you know? Instead of GW being like, okay, you bought the physical book, uh, that's great, but now you have to buy the digital one separate if you want to use both, and it's like, what? So I'm glad they at least give you both. Because the, the physical book just gets outdated, and it's pointless, and you're really just there to read the lore at that point, right? The power cables? Oh. It's supposed to be up here. I think. Power cables. I think they should re-release the rules and stuff for free, but keep the lore to the physical copies. I think people wouldn't buy them as much then. I think that's the problem, because, like, if you separate the lore and the rules from physical books, people love playing the game, and that would mean even less money spent. Right? And for GW, that's a big no-no. You gotta spend the money. Where the fuck am I going?
because I had that conversation with um, the GW that I go to. The manager is really nice, and we were talking about that. I'm like, you know, don't you think they should separate the fucking uh, codex rules from, like, the, the lore and whatnot so you can get all of the updated rules repeatedly online and, you know, the book can just be for the lore? And he was like, well, most people typically play the game, and it's not that they don't like the lore, but when you buy a book like that, you're typically wanting to play the game, right? So, what would the value be in kind of alienating people out of that, and then also not making money? But also not, you know, invalidating a book a year down the line just because it's full of rules that you can't even use, right? Like, either way, everyone loses but GW. We buy the books, we get the lore, and we get the rules, and then everything gets completely fucking outdated. They make money, and we just keep buying it every year. And then I'm like, great, it takes up a spot on the shelf, and it looks good, and then it's, like, irrelevant. You can't even use it. But then it makes it hard for someone who doesn't want to spend $70 on a codex? I mean, the whole hobby is not easy. The hobby itself is not for anyone who doesn't want to spend f hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on plastic. Right? It's like, if you can buy a box of minis, you can buy the book. That's kind of their thing, right? It's like, oh, you want to play your favorite Space Marines? Well, buy the fucking book. Buy the book. Look, he just pulled out a book. This shit's $80. Necrons are my first army, but they have weird balance. Yeah, I mean, they update things. They update things online, and then you have to remember those things. Okay, where the fuck am I going? Wait, what was the point of this? Is this it? Is this a new area? I think it is. Is it? I can't even tell. Oh, it is. I'm completely out of ammo. What the fuck? Yes, I did. I heard about everything. Listen. Keep it to Twitter. Keep it to Twitter. You're never going to win in this conversation on either side in any setting. Everyone's going to have a problem. Everyone's upset. Everyone loves it. Everyone's upset. Everyone loves it. I just keep it to Twitter. There's no winning on either side. It just goes... Around in a circle. Everyone's mad. Everyone's happy. Everyone's mad. Everyone's happy. I just say fuck it, man. I don't care. Luckily, I don't go on Twitter. Yeah. That's a good choice. I respect that choice. I should do more of that. Holy shit, could I die any faster? <laughs> oh my god. 
Holy fuck. Trying to paint nice, but it's a lot of work. Night Lords. I mean, the best thing you could do is... When it comes to painting anything is... I mean, you could try a tutorial. For ideas. On how to do things. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be, like, an official guide on how to paint Night Lords. You know, or you just, again, find someone on YouTube who does it, and it's much easier. Because a lot of people don't know how to paint things. They kind of don't know what colors to use, or, you know, they don't want to fuck up their mini. So there's nothing wrong with looking at, like, a tutorial or, you know, someone else's work for inspiration. That's usually a good thing. What did I even fucking throw? I killed 100% of everything. What the fuck, really? Is Bolt gonna good game so far? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I'm ending right now on, on this game because I don't really want to do another mission, but I think it's a great game. I think it is good. It's one of the better games, you know, because you can really kind of get stuck in, like, the, the shitty 40k game loop or, like, the fantasy Age of Sigmar stuff. Most of them, thankfully, are on phones, right? Mobile games. Uh, the ones that are on PC that aren't that good, you could easily avoid. But, unfortunately, there's only a couple of, like, really good ones. And I'd say Bolt Gun is one of them. Bolt Gun, Dawn of War, Dark Tide, Vermin Tide, uh, Space Marine. You know, people will say, like, Gladius and all that crap. Blood Bowl 2. GW doesn't have, like, the best track. Well, not, not even GW. Just, like, Warhammer in general. Because it's not GW putting them out. It's GW, like handing out the license to a fucking, you know, studio, and they're like, okay, make us a game. And they make them a game, and the game is ass. The game's ass. It's poo-poo. But overall, yeah, Bolt Gun's really good. One of the best games, for sure, when it comes to 40k games. Um... Let's just do Total War. I'm in the mood. Forty K needs more games. Well, right now they're kind of doing that stuff. They are making more games. They're partnering with more people, more companies, more studios. Like this is the people might say, "Oh, it's the end times." Games Workshop, blah 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 blah. blah. This is like as peak in terms of content as you're going to get with GW, if not more down the line. You got games, you got statues, you got figures, you got toys, you got lore, you got books, you got fucking everything. You got cosplays, you got action. Anything you can think of right now, I'm pretty sure Warhammer has got their fucking toes in. Right? Like, these guys are really going hard when it comes to working with other companies and producing just a bunch of shit. Like, sure, we had a bunch of miniatures, you know, throughout the years and the books and the media and all that crap. But, like, right now, it's probably peak. So much stuff going on. All of their different games. Like, for God's sake, they just brought back fantasy. Warhammer Fantasy just came back. Like, it couldn't be a better time. 40K Total War should be a thing. Yeah. That's been talked about for a bit. I mean, 40K Total War, realistically, would be the greatest Warhammer game of all time. Uh, like, there is nothing that I think could trump Warhammer 40k Total War in terms of a Warhammer game. And that's not really saying much, because there's a lot of things that could trump most Warhammer games. But for the sake of it, it's like, yeah. It, it would be amazing. It'd be insane. Well, the, well, because everyone... Yeah, that was shit, though, for sure. I mean, as bad as that was... 
for the Astartes guy, it actually worked out in his favor because he loves working with GW. He made it because he loves Games Workshop and he loves the Space Marines and all that crap. And I think he had posted somewhere that, like, as bad as it may be, I prefer doing this than, you know, not working with them. Oh. Is Warhammer different than Warhammer 40k? I thought they were the same thing. Well, Warhammer Fantasy, think of Lord of the Rings. Warhammer 40k, think of like, not fantasy, futuristic, right? Everything is Warhammer, but there's like fantasy, Age of Sigmar, 40k, Blood Bowl, Necromunda, so on and so forth. They're just different things. Yeah, the guy who made it was happy to work for them, you know, more so than not working for them. Of course, everyone's pissed off. It's like, how you you bought this guy out, you fucking loser shit company. I hate you. Keep producing your fucking space marine lieutenants, you losers. And this guy's like, guys, who gives a fuck? I'm working for them now, and I like doing this. It's like, okay, that's great. I'm happy for you, bro. You know, it is crazy, though, because, like, after they did do that, where the fuck is the guy's work? Have we seen anything Astartes 2? Right? Like, at the end of the one thing he did, it showed, I think it was, like, Blood Angels getting jumped by a bunch of orcs. I don't think he did anything so far. So, like, yeah, you know, he might be happy, implying he's still there. But I haven't seen shit. He might be working on Bolter and Hammer. I mean, the visuals of Bolter and Hammer compared to the visuals of, like, what you're getting in Astartes, though, really? Seems a bit different. I heard rumors that he's been working on the recent 40K trailers. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. His shit... It looks amazing. It does. Looks really good. <coughs> but again, it's just a matter of like, if he's happy, why do we care? If he was unhappy and, you know, they forced him to fucking like join up or don't make any more content, okay, then maybe we'd have a say in something. But if he loves it, man, good for him. That's great. Bro is happy and that's all that matters. Who knows? All right. Let's do a little bit of Total War and then call it for the day. It's not even late. It's like 6 p.m., but I'm so tired today. I feel like garbage. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The Warhammer Plus stuff is dog water. You know, I recently went back to Warhammer Plus because they charged me for the year, like last week. And I was watching a little bit of it, and honestly, it's not terrible, but it's not exciting. It's okay, but it, it's not like at the edge of my seat, oh my god, I'm gripped in tension, I need to see what's going on next. But it's okay. Like, I, I think the best way to sum it up is it's like a 6, a 6 or a 7 out of 10. Like a 6.5 out of 10, which isn't amazing, but it's viewable. You know? I'm getting the minis as well, except I'm selling them. I don't even collect that stuff. I don't collect any of the minis they offer. I don't collect any of that stuff. Oh, Pizza Pikachu, did you want the, um... Did you want that undead chick? Was it you who wanted it? I know Squ I talked to Squizgar. Well, when I get it in, I'll let you know. It's the one from Warhammer Plus. I'll, I'll sell it to you cheaper than, like, eBay aftermarket scalp prices. If you really want it.
And you're right. Honestly, you know what it was? I went back recently and I tried logging in to Warhammer Plus or I tried accessing a certain part of the website and it was blocked. It did get blocked for me too. Like I can still watch their stuff here, but it, it did get a bit blocked in a certain area. I forgot what it was. Blame Quebec. If there's a reason to blame Quebec, it's probably for everything. This is not the place I want to be. <sighs> tired, man. I'm so tired. Only minis I collect are World Eaters and Night Lords. I haven't painted things in ages. Yeah. Painting can be a hassle. But when you get into the groove of painting, it's like you can't stop, you know? You only stop when you get bored. Ugh. Well, they're supposed to be coming out with, like, new, new Skaven. Like I said before, and I think everyone kind of knows about it, but they're trying to differentiate Fantasy from Age of Sigmar. So chances are, if you see a Skaven unit that's old like, from a different time period and was from fantasy initially, they're going to give it a new sculpt, they're going to put it in Age of Sigmar, and they're going to shaft all the old things back to fantasy. So that's what they're going to be doing. What was your highest rank on Warhammer ranked matchmaking? I think I was, like, top three. During the age of, like, box cheesing and gyro spam, I was top three. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so bad. You take double runesmith, like fucking six gyrocopter units, and you walk up the field in a box, and the gyros clear out all the problems, and then everyone breaks on the box. It's like super cheese. Super, super cheese. The latter in two was like so casual. Six-year hobby break, and I'm back in 10th. I've painted 3,500 points. Jesus Christ. I've painted zero in years. I haven't painted anything in a long time. Yeah, you take a break, man. I mean, for most people, when it comes to Warhammer, it's something that they kind of take with them through life, you know? If it's not really working out now, then come back in a year. It probably will. If we can still buy the old minis, that's awesome. Yeah, you can. That's what they're doing. They're basically taking all of the old miniatures. They're putting them back into Warhammer Fantasy. They're even bringing back older minis that were never for sale for years just so Warhammer Fantasy can be populated with miniatures that don't look like Age of Sigmar ones, which they shouldn't. I don't agree, and I'm, even Games Workshop agrees, that you shouldn't have the same miniature in the same game, especially when you have so many different alternatives that you've had over the years. Like, if it's going to be Age of Sigmar focused, make it fresh, make it new, great looking minis. That's not to say that you can't just go buy from the Age of Sigmar line and put them in fantasy as an aesthetic choice, because there's nothing wrong with that. But in terms of marketing, like the old world should be marketed as, hey, you know, Grandpa, wake up, Warhammer Fantasy's back, right? Like that's realistically what it should be. I don't play campaign. I only play online battles. I got speed paints and it helped me out. What would you recommend to try and complete online? Warhammer 3, Warcraft 3, Dawn of War 1? I mean, Dawn of War 1 has a very linear campaign. So does Warcraft 3, I would assume. Like, the one that doesn't is Warhammer 3. Warhammer 3 is a very, like, open-ended, you know, giant battlefield where... You can claim land and lose land and this and that and this and that. If you want a story, play the other two. If you don't want a story, then play this one. Although I think there are story campaigns in this game, but, like, if you're playing the one everyone plays, I don't think there is. It's just more about, like, dominate the map and destroy everybody. 
I believe. Okay. This map is so ass. I don't even- I don't even, like, try to build comps anymore, that makes sense. I just build random shit. <laughs> like... Oh my god, dude. My brain- my brain can't handle this anymore. Uh, let's just do, like, two... Two... Can I get, like, a cheap engineer with restock? Is that a thing? Do you play other factions online? No, I don't. I only play dwarves. Realistically, what I should do is play greenskins, because, like, growing up, it was greenskins, dwarves, and empire. I should be playing those three. But the only thing to this day that I still love through and through that I'm not going to give up are dwarves. So we're still here chugging along with, like, a very stagnant, very slow... Very hairy species. Nurgle in Immortal Empires right now is so bad. I mean, even in multiplayer, they're kind of bad, right? Like, you talk about slow and stagnant. Like, Nurgle is slow and stagnant. Like, these guys don't get anything done. Which one is the best to play online? Dawn of War, Dawn of War 1 online? I mean, you'd need, like, the DLC to play online. And even then, most of the game is done through mods. But they added Tomarcon. Yeah, Tomarcon. Who's also big and slow and stagnant. But that's fine. That's cool. You know? I mean, this game didn't need more... Like, this game isn't competitive. It's flavorful. It's fun. It's Warhammer. Right? If you play multiplayer, there is sort of like a competitive aspect to the game. But at the end of the day, you're just... Playing a game that's incredibly unbalanced, incredibly build-oriented, where one build could just be instantly better than the other, and so you're just fucked. It's all over the place. Like, this is a very random thing. It's not like chess, or, you know, I can build on the go, look at my buildings, I'm gonna, like, counter you with my, uh, I don't know, battle cruisers because you went this or that. It's just like you build everything, you play everything. It's a, it's an all or nothing game. You can't kind of like change things halfway through the match. Okay. I really got rid of the fucking iron traits. Really. Master of Runecraft! Thorek Ironbrow! Oops. Strong, strong. Hang on. War of Vengeance! For the Kadasan Corps! Kazook! Casting the runes! By Grungni! Is this kind of like Civ? I don't think it's like Civ. I don't think so. Well, I mean, it's kind of like rock, paper, scissors. Because, I mean, again, you deploy... You build an army, you deploy your army, your army fights the enemy army. In most cases, you're kind of thinking, okay, the enemy army is a specific race, they're going to take specific units because I'm playing a specific race myself. Like, what is good into my army, and what can I take that's good into theirs? That's basically it. Um, wow, this looks like a very frustrating, uh, whatever. 
What even is this shit? Three nerdlings? Can Kugoth heal units? Is that a thing? Um, I mean, there's melee armies, there's shooting armies, there's armies that get carried through magic. Like, there's a, there's a, there's a mix, right? There's a varied amount, for sure. What is this shit, dude? Get out of here. Nothing could stop us. It is a reckoning. Strike out. Yes, move now. Oh yeah, he can heal, but I don't think it matters because I have ammunition, so it's fine. Some like Skills. stuff moving, Nothing please. You know what? Fuck it, just do this. Whatever, man. What a fucking mess of a game, anyways. What a mess of a game. is so slow and ass. It's super slow and super ass. <laughs> Where? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, dude? What are we doing? I've got hammers beating up fucking, like, chariots. Like, what the fuck? Let me get my tools. Let me get my tools. Do I even have enough fucking ammo to kill their army? I don't think I do. Like, unironically, this is too tanky. I don't have any Iron Drakes, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm gonna sit here and lose all my ammunition before they die. That's the state of the world we live in. Hold up. 
What a weird army to lose to, to be honest, but like, I'd like to think the AI is also fucking stupid as shit when they move around. Like, I actually, unironically, will lose to this army. Holy fuck. Yikes. Okay, whatever. When you should have fucking troll hammers, and you don't have troll hammers, so you get diseases and AIDS. I lost to that? Oh my god, I should just quit the game. Holy fuck, I should quit the game. I lost to the worst army I've ever seen. But then again, like, where, where is the AI going? Like, everyone's just stuck sitting on units, and they're not even in defensive mode. Like, move, bro. They get hit once and the whole unit just doesn't move. It's weird. This game has like, sometimes it's got really bad AI pathing to where if you click on a unit and the unit runs into the unit, they hit it and they stop and they all fight in a straight line. It's bad. It'd be really bad. Oh well. Skaven are good. Skaven have like no bad matchups. Instead of like what, Beastmen? Orcs, maybe? I don't know. Well, that was cringe to lose to. Not gonna lie. At least Glacier Lake is more fun. Is this the same guy? I have no idea. But I'm not fucking around again. Fucking waste my time with this Nurgle shit. Fucking fall asleep over here. Just roll. I wish to run it down. Favorite 40k faction? Votan. Even though the Votan have as much depth as, like, my toilet. They've got as much depth as my toilet. There's not much going on with the vote, Tan, unfortunately. There needs to be. Yeah, they're boring, aren't they? <laughs> they're so they're so boring. There is a difference between liking a race in in the universe itself and then fighting a race in this game. Got, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. I like money. You like Ooh. money. Here, yes. that's some money per pound. Yes. A disloyal. Again, like I always say every day, very loyal of you. Thanks, buddy. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, man. That's very generous. Votan are space dwarves, yeah. Well, they used to be humans, but they're like stunted and cloned to kind of suit their environment, which is uh, the galactic core. 
I spilled water. I want to see Votan versus Tyranids. I mean, that's like the grudge match, no? For them, that's the grudge match. For sure. Okay, we're done fucking around. My micro needs to be uh, slightly better than it was last game. Okay. Anyway, I'm, he's probably just going to deploy in a corner. Most likely. Unfortunately. Wow. What a fucking shocking surprise. We do like sitting in corners, don't we? What an absolute shocking surprise. Why do people do this stupid shit, bro? I mean, you know what beats this that I'm just not doing is cannons. You take like two cannons and you just win. <laughs> like, it's the easiest thing to beat on paper, but like, oh well. <laughs> I'm getting shot to death by Nurgle. It's not even that hard to beat. It's not. Just take cannons. Like, honestly. This is unfortunately PvP. I'll tell you this right now. There are a few things coming in. Where's my third unit of slayers? Why is Nurgle so fucking cringe, though, as a faction? Uh, yeah, we ran out of plates. What are you eating? Oh, we don't have any more? Really? Why don't I just take cannons against this guy, like, seriously? Why? Even Ungrim's getting his shit kicked in. Really? Ungrim, what? People? So much for being a melee lord. Gotrek's dead. Bro, these characters suck ass. Anyways. Anyways. 
Why don't I just take cannons? I have no idea why I haven't drafted a single cannon against this wretched shit race. I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, look. Look who, look who came here. He could tell me to play cannons against Nurgle. Because this is sad. It's a sad, horrible existence with no cannons. Horrible. I don't think we do this again. <laughs> Just take cannons. I don't know why I can't take a single cannon. It's so easy. Just purchase cannon, shoot Kugoth, win the game. I'm putting myself at a disadvantage. I'm already short and slow. It can't get any worse. Thanks for the host, buddy. Melee grouped against Nurgle is not a fun time. Yeah, I know. It's just the more fun way to play. Multiplayer is boring when you kind of have artillery spam. But in some cases, if you're losing to, like, Kugoth... If Kugoth is beating you in multiplayer with a single soul grinder, I think you're just... Your comp's trash. I think realistically. Okay, anyways... There are certain games that do remind you to build certain ways, and that is exactly one of them. It's just people like that typically don't. You don't see that often. Uh, crap. Speed. What? Yeah, welcome to sitting in your room all day. Um, I think we just do four, two, one. I don't think I even need a runesmith. Norska is such a weird faction. I feel like they're just stuck well in time. Eons ago. Super ancient old faction. I don't think Norska is having a good time in any game. Norska was like a Warhammer 2 thing, to be honest. Nobody plays Norska. Norska is the oldest faction without an update. Yeah, they're really old. Extremely old. I, I feel bad for them, too. Like, in multiplayer, they just kind of sit around and have nothing. There's, like, not even a single good thing about them. At least from what I've seen. Let's just do this. Well, I mean, I guess it's like unit variety. It's like, what does Norska bring that's really... what? What is the big... What's the biggest thing they could bring that's, like, relevant in most games? I guess that's the idea. What could they bring? Artillery is their main thing, but it's so boring to play. Artillery shootouts in multiplayer are more of, I have to do it because the other person's doing it, than I want to do it because I will win that way. At least that's how I view it. I fucking, I don't like taking cannons. I don't like, I don't like taking any of that stuff. Like, it's good. It's very good, but it's not fun. Subjectively not fun. Skin wolves and mammoths. Skin wolves are all right. Mammoths, I feel like, don't do anything. At least, for the sake of dwarves, they don't do anything. Not to mention, like, when it comes to artillery and multiplayer, it's kind of hard to use properly. 
right? Because, like, certain maps can ruin firing lines. Certain races just kind of, like, shut down artillery very fast and you can't even play them properly. It's just a, it's a mixed bag. You get good stuff, you get bad stuff. What are you doing? What are you doing? How did the Famir fare against dwarves? Are the Famir anti-infantry? Because, I mean, like, I feel like when it comes to Norska, it's like, how do you kill troll hammers? And that's it. If you can't kill the troll hammers, the troll hammers kill everything. At least that's from what I remember. Thunder barges will deal with the eagles. I mean, thunder barges seem to be dealing with everything. Very quickly. Very, very quickly. For the ancestor gods, I will have vengeance. True king. Famir have what stock? I mean, realistically, there's no dwarven infantry that should be able to kill Famir, right? Slayers, maybe, since are they large? Like dwarf warriors with great weapons? Like, come on, these guys are—they don't do anything. They don't do anything, Mochi. You just shoot everything to death. If you don't like it, and you're a dwarf, Giant Slayers beat Vermeer. Well, Giant Slayers should beat anything. <laughs> like, come on. And not many people take Giant Slayers anyways, right? Like, if you were to take them against Norska, it's like Marauder Horsemen spam onto them and they're dead. It's like 12,000 gold down the drain, or 1,200. Okay. Ready to fight. I think I will be closing the box. Range far! Range fast! Go! Take him down! If you insist! No shoddy contraptions here! Go! Oh, there's Famir, look. Mistwalkers. Move now! Famir. Pick your target well! Iron Hammer! Move now! Get moving! Take them down! No! Fire on the foe! Chasu! Nothing can stop us! Trash! Blow, blow! I used leadership too early. I'm trolling. Oops. Wait, why is Belagar all the way over here? What the fuck are you doing? Oopsies. Where's the sorcerer? And I don't have... Shoot! 
What a mess of a game. This guy's kind of tanky, eh? Show the wizards! Okay, he's done. Throw, throw! Vengeance! And... No, no! Dino Cupcake! Belly guy! Did he just miscast into a route? <laughs> I mean, the game was over, but it's kind of funny. Miscasting. What a horrible thing to deal with. Well, Brimstones I don't think are going to be good once the once the DLC comes out, because I think Brimstones are, like, turning into anti-infantry. Aren't the Steams supposed to be more relevant now against, like, elites and armored things? Cav don't do well in the dwarves. Well, it's not necessarily true. I mean, what cavalry would you bring as Norska? Right? Uh, uh, the horror. This map is also horrifyingly bad. I kind of want to run at the guy. I kind of want to run at him. I think I will. If I had a hundred more gold, maybe. Can I drop anything? Flash bomb, restock. Chaos dwarves, monkus. The one thing I don't like, I have no chaff clearing. Now I have chaff clearing. Hammers are so pointless, but they're fun. Seven, seven. I mean, rangers with throwing axes are actually kind of crazy. They do go crazy, but... What if I did a gyro bomber? <laughs> Maybe gyro bomber. I think I will. Sure. We're playing for fun anyways. Why not? The shitty gyro bomber. I mean, in the new Thrones of Decay stuff, I think you get like four gyro bombers in a unit. I don't even know how that works. That thing is so ass. Do you get more bombs for the gyro bombers? Because I feel like it's a little bit funky when you have a, a, a few, like, large things flying around each other. It's like if you, if the propellers touch, you're kind of dead. Horse masters are underrated. Are those melee? I feel like melee cav, unless it's elite, is kind of crap. Because they're more of, like, disrupting units, really. They kind of hit your back line and, like, stop shooting for a little bit. They drop waves of bombs instead of once... Oh, gotcha. Okay. I guess that makes sense, though, right? Kind of like the uh, gyro bombs. Horse Masters are ranged, but better than... To okay, gotcha. 
Butchie, what are you doing? What's up? <laughs> what is this guy doing? Okay. Let's turn the tide. We demand blood. Kill works. Who is this again? Oh, this is Chaos Dwarves. That's who it is. Should I have the gyro bomber? That's right. Oh no. Oh no, the gyro bomber. Shine like What no? Gyro bomber. This is three. This should be. Okay. If my micro is decent, maybe the gyro bomber kind of pops off, but like chances of that happening are pretty slim. Pretty slim. How does it even happen? Yikes. Piss poor micro. Okay, I don't think he's got... I mean, I don't know if these guys even have stock units. I don't know. Yikes! Oh, that's almost dead, though. To be fair. I've got the gyro bomber. Careful for the gyro bomber. It's kind of a big deal. I'm surprised that shrieker missile even hit me. I guess that's just poor micro, no? I mean, we have to go in. Even if we get, like, destroyed, we have to just go in. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to sit around and fall asleep. Dude, oh my god. I'm terrible. The Shrieker missile has successfully killed all of my gyros, and I'm just kind of not moving them properly. Which is a bit unfortunate, you know, but it is what it is, I guess. Thunders, I got nothing. This is bad for us, folks. Not good. Not gonna lie. Okay, this is a wash. <laughs> this is a wash, bro. I mean, the gyro bomber MVP, though, coming in hot. Like, watch out. Careful. We're going to get gyro bombed. Clearly. Hold up. We don't muck around with this gyro bomber shit. This is serious business. Wow. Actually, that is serious business. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Did the gyro bomber turn the tide of war? Is that what just happened? Holy smokes, the gyro bomber MVP. We got the angle. <laughs> Gyro MVP angle. Okay, we're coming back in. Oh wait, we're not coming back in because we've already died. What? Terrible. If the Gyro Bomber comes back, I think we can win. Like, it sounds crazy, but maybe. Just maybe. I mean, the cannon is still shooting, and I also have my Drake unit, so, like, it's definitely winnable. It came back! It's winnable. It's just awful. The cannon's still going, that's huge. Maybe winnable, maybe not. I've got ammo. Fuck, it's dead? No! <laughs> uh, good try, though. I don't even know how it got shot. <laughs> you can't even see the bolts. That's funny. Maybe it was magic. I'm not sure what it was. It was not fun, though. What is shooting me? Is it really? It's just the infernal guard, but I can't even. You can't even see their bolts when it goes out. It's so thin. That's crazy. Well, crazily enough, the only thing that's doing anything this game is the cannon. Like, the gyros just got destroyed, obviously. Ooh, you really want to take on Grom Brindle? No. Maybe not. I can maybe clear this off. Yeah, his lord is, uh... Kinda getting mucked up. A little bit. The cannon is... I mean, I'm watching the cannon, just to be sure it can do something. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, God. Well, thank God for dwarven uh, heroes and artillery. That's funny. <laughs> Bro, the, when the gyro bombers work, they're so much fun, but, like, they typically just don't work. It's the sad truth. Okay, that's routed. Now what we do is we group them up. We flash bomb them with the engineer. Oh! That's so dirty. Vengeance! 
Wow. <laughs> Dude, if you can keep Drakes alive, they do so much damage. That's absurd. Like, this unit is 10 man strong, and it's taking out full units. Holy smokes. Is he shooting the cannon? What the fuck is that? What? 3,000 distance? Jesus. What was that? Vengeance! Wow, I somehow won. <laughs> How does that even happen? Bro, I lost the gy the gyro. To be fair, the gyro actually... Not the gyro, the gyro bomber. The gyro bomber... had 1,300 gold in value, and it dropped, like, four bombs. It wasn't even all of them. Like, the cannon was insane. 2,200 gold value on the cannon. The iron drakes? Ballistic missiles. Yeah, but that was a, that was a sorcerer. That wasn't even, like... Technology. That's crazy. That's fun. What are you doing? I dream of a day where, like, maybe the Sky Hammer is good. <laughs> I wonder, is the Sky Hammer in the DLC going to be one unit still? Is it still even going to be in the game? It's got to be better. Because the Sky Hammer just sucks. You should play Iron Drakes more often. I should. I really, really should. They're good. But you know what we're going to do right now? We're going to be sneaky. We're going to be very sneaky. We got a rematch already? Is that you? Or are we just talking about... We got a rematch already. It's not you? Oh. <laughs> Can I spare like a hundred gold? Let's just do it, bro. This is a fucked up list. Let's go. Magic is just technology that hasn't been figured out. Is it really? The fact that dwarves even use magic is sacrilegious. This is why Chaos Dwarves will always be number two. If you're a dwarf, a respected individual in society, you don't use magic. Never use magic. Okay. Aren't runes also magic? I mean, it's different, though. It's not casted from you. It's bound to things. It's like, we hate magic so much, but we will harness it as a weapon. It's a little bit more justified, in my opinion, just saying. <laughs> like, yeah, dwarves abhor magic. Hate it. Can't do it. Won't do it. It's for cowards. But we will use it to power our weapons. I mean, sure. I agree. I agree. Oh, 
Oh, well, this is kind of an icky map, though. This is a really bad map for stuff like this. Oh, this is so far though. Oh my god. How would you even like where would you start here? Axes out, lads! The clans unite! Yes, Thane! The clans unite! Mm. Behind him. Ooh. <laughs> You're right. Hold up. I completely forgot you can spawn behind him. Kill the orc splitters. I completely forgot you can deploy. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can deploy behind people. That's true. Wow. You know, this would kind of. I mean, this is like do or die. Like, if this fails, we just lose automatically. Like, there's no working around it. You're just dead. <laughs> uh, those in front. Okay, this is weird. One. This should be one. This should just be two. One. Let's roll. Okay. Um, let him rip. Let him rip, boys. Let him rip. <laughs> what is this nonsense? This is nonsense. He didn't see me yet. I don't think he was even looking on his own side of the map. I've surrounded him. Okay. Crazily enough, the I, the uh, Nordrumlings being on that side is good. As crazy as that sounds, it's actually good. Because the Nordrumlings are going to tank. I mean, implying he even fights me, but... Take your targets well! Jesus. I don't think he's realized I'm killing him. Maybe he gave up? <laughs> what is this? What are we doing? This is total war. Okay, well, the Norgrimlings are getting, like, shafted, so that's fine. If the Norgrimlings are going to sit over there for, like, a century and get absolutely handled, I mean, I have to kind of wipe his whole army up here. Entire army over Norgrimlings. Yeah, and they're just going to sit here for a century and do, like, decent damage. <laughs> like, they actually didn't do terrible for getting kind of shit on. Throw the bombs on them, man. Well. Why don't you stop? Chill out, Mochi. That's the Dwarven Navy Seals. The craziest thing I've seen in this game is, like, throwing axe rangers are actually so good. They have so much AP. There's so many missiles that come out. It's pretty insane.
actually really insane. What a messed up game. Okay, we can watch uh Zatan the Black. Oh no, never mind, he's dead. It's so sad, so many lost souls. Feeling sad for Chaos Dwarves dying? I don't know about that one. Chaos Dwarf players shut down when they have to actually move their riflemen. Yeah, when they gotta move the fire glaives, it's like the hardest mechanic. Definitely. The microing of uh fire glaives, oof. I mean the fire glaives do so much damage. They destroy you. You can't sit still for like two seconds without dying. Be it they they are very expensive, to be fair. Fire glaives are really expensive, but Oh, is this you in chat? Did you finally snipe me? You're auto-generating? You don't want to do, like, a Giga Chad battle? If you do want to auto-gen, that's fine. What do you want to do? Let's do, like, what, seven auto-gens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy shit. I was just going to say Giga Chad melee. I I'm sitting auto-gen seven. So if you want to do auto-gen seven, we could do that. Because <laughs> I kind of like this. This looks a bit spicy. I'm in trouble. I mean, this... Doesn't look terrible, but like Gotrek is two thousand gold. It's not a very good, not a very good uh, pit for two thousand gold to be sunk into. Pretty sure. Wait, is Gotrek more than Ungrim? Fully kitted out. I think he is. I think he actually is worth more. At least right now. Maybe when the changes come through, he'll be a bit cheaper. Okay. Mochi, stop. We demand blood! Grumbrindle! Shh! We demand blood! Cannon! Be it ready! Let's turn the tide! Let the vengeance begin! Hey, stop! Quiet, man! Chill out. Quiet, little buddy. <laughs> How simple is it to be a dog? You just sit here and bark at everything, and um, that's just living life, you know? That is just life. This is, uh... Hold up, like, what are the... <laughs> oh, shit, dude. It must be great. I don't think it's thought about, though. Oh, 
the flanking. We're going for the assassination. Go trick, kind of going crazy. Go trek is free. He's on the way. Jesus, did I just route my own dudes? Where am I? Wait, where are my Iron Drakes still in combat? What are we doing? Trek chasing these disgusting creatures. He's a thick dude. <laughs> dude, wait. Come back. Okay, let's just chop this guy. Damn, is Gotrek kind of getting shot in the back of the head? Gotrek ain't down yet. Can we're coming in hot though? Hold up. Anu, that'll do. Your call over here, over there. Um, he might be in a bit of trouble. Yes, then. Rukaze. <laughs> How do you? I mean, uh, it's the. Uh, you know, aren't dwarves supposed to be four feet tall, or are these guys just short? Oh my god. Okay, he's dead. At last, to the fight. Dwarven heroes have scaling in game? Yeah, they do. Just a little bit. I mean, most HQ units should probably have scaling, just so you can kind of, like, differentiate who's who. Yeah, GG's, man. Auto-generation is kind of goofy sometimes. New Hustlers meta. Have two passive incomes, a house, a few servants that attend to all of your needs, be three Is years old and be a cat. Got? You must have more. Favorite burrito? I would say let's go Giga Chad. I, I want to do Giga Chad melee. It's just fun. Favorite burrito? Um, Steak burritos? Steak chicken? Beef? Well, steak chicken pork? I used to, um, whenever I'd get burritos at like mucho burrito or something it would be uh dual meat you pay like four dollars extra and they put twice as much meat it's all about the meat that's good it's good meat lizard man
<laughs> okay, good enough. White rice, pinto corn, double steak, sour cream. It's good, but it's expensive. Things like that can get very, very expensive. I was looking at um, even Subway. And to be fair, Subway's not even that good in terms of, like, quality of food. But I remember um, maybe a month ago, we ended up ordering Subway. And my girlfriend was like, okay, get me this, get me that, get me this, this, this. You know, just additions to a 12-inch sub. And the asking price, I think, was like $8, $9. With everything on it, it was $20. I'm like, what the fuck? For like six toppings? Which, to be fair, I don't even know what she wanted, but like, goddamn. I only treat myself once in a while. That's how it should be. I mean, with how expensive everything is now, it's like, yeah. Not to mention you can save money and just buy Warhammer, which is even better. You know, forget about buying food when you can buy plastic. It is. It's Well, I mean, it's the convenience of it, right? That's why people do it. Maybe you're hungry and you don't want to make food, so there you go. Okay, well, I think we just run. Too many leagues of Votan to buy. I'm more interested in the old world stuff at this point. Seeing all that old dwarven stuff come back. Like, I've got all of it, but some of it's a bit old. Some of it's great. Yes. Slayers! I'm at, I'm at them! I know! Yeah, the new Ungrim is really nice. It, it does lack a little bit of, like... Like... It's not a bad mini. It just feels like... It, it could be slightly more dynamic, you know what I mean? Just a little bit more dynamic. But it's amazing. It's young Ungrim. Like, it's not going to get better than that, right? It's cool to see all of these older characters kind of, like... Maybe younger and in their prime. Yeah, I don't think, like, what are we? Okay, Go Trick can't even play the game. <laughs> Go Trek walks up and this thing just flings him away. Coward beast, fight me! Okay, Gotrek versus the Shredder of Lustria. The 1v1. Who is going to win? Clearly not Gotrek, because this isn't in the books. Five hundred damage ain't so bad. It's looking a bit rough. Go trick, bro. Honestly, he's not even doing that bad. And I think he's got Death Blow going, so that's cool. He's shitting on this thing, actually. And to be fair, he's Gotrek, but... 
One more. One more hit. Oh, no. I am the Slayer King. Is Ungrim even in here? Is... is the Shredder of Lustria? Oh, it's not unbreakable, I was gonna say. That thing is rough to kill him, man. Gotrek kinda did alright, though, to be fair in a 1v1. Is that thing dinosaur? What is the dinosaur? Winnable, losable. Ungrim against Gorok. Give him rune of breaking. Break his spine. No. Move now. Nothing can stop us. Leave me alone. <laughs> Yo, fight me with Gorok, you coward. Shit. There you go. Give me Gorok. There's no way Gorok should lose to a runesmith. No way. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, okay, GG. <laughs> do I even do damage here? Nope. That's funny. Okay. I mean, seven, eighteen hundred gold value on Goat Track. That's cool. Yeah, GG's man. I think we'll do one more game, and then I need to go clean the kitchen because the kitchen is getting very, very nasty. And we are supposed to be heading out to the other setup soon, in less than a week. Thank God. No, that's the, that's that's a completely different like universe in terms of how disgusting it is. Like Asmongold's kitchen, I'm sure even has its own ecosystem where things come out at nighttime and like kill other things to keep the balance in check. What do you want to do? You just want to do melee? How about you play you play dwarves, I'll play orcs, go full melee. How, how's that sound? You want to do that? We'll switch it up a bit. Bring out Thorgrim. Bring the hammerers. Let's do it. I'm ready. Yes. The melee fight. We'll mix it up a bit. You can do buffs. Yeah, I'm doing buffs, of course. Of course. I don't really get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Are big guns even useful? 
They've got eight. Well, armor. Oh, this is bonus versus large. I thought it was armor piercing. They're not even armor piercing. Yeah, it's okay. I'm ready. I've never been more ready in my life to run it down mid. Did you like the campaign? Campaign of this game? I don't really do campaign. I'm more of a uh, multiplayer guy. All right, after this game we're done, we gotta go clean. And then we're gonna call it. This is a good map for a melee mess, yeah. I mean, Glacier Lake is still my favorite just because it's so close quarters and everything is very easy to see. You can play multiplayer in campaign, but I think for me, I'm just not really a big fan. Honestly. Hi, Mochi. What are you doing? Mochi's going to say hello. Hello. Do you know what's going on? You don't know what's happening? Mochi doesn't know anything. Okay, you got to go. Fatigue for playing campaign? It is a long process. Campaign takes a long time. And for me, I'm not someone who likes to kind of sit around and do something like that forever. Damn, look at all those hammerers and a Thane and Giga Thorgrim. Oh my god. No shot. I'm the best. I'm the best. My shaman, stop killing him! Damn, the Crimson Killers got shit on. Yeah. That's about right. Crimson Killers got shit on. Fifty-one kills though on the peak gate guard? That's not terrible. 
It's not that bad. If he catches him, no. And the thing coming in to rescue his king? His high king? I think he's dead there. What a noble thing. Felled by a fungus. Feel bad. Felled by a fungus. Thorgrim is a tanky dude. Holy shit. He didn't die. <laughs> Grimgore. Grimgore did pretty good, not gonna lie. Not bad, dude. He did alright. He did the most he could for the uh, situation. Can the rogue idle route? I think it can route. What the fuck? Attack? Hello? Is it what is it doing? Bro. Um I mean it rampaged because it couldn't hit anything. No, the green skins. I wanna see Grimgore's damage. Damn, this thing did kind of crazy. Wait, it, can the rogue idol take on everyone here? It's just rampaging. I can't do anything. Like, surely there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Sep, yo, buddy. Is it really going to win? No way.
What was with the uh, what was with the bar at the top? Why was it so 50 50? Yeah, that was a weird one. <laughs> what did you use the uh, hammer of Karak Draz on? Did you use it on the um, uh, I'm gonna call them immortals, the the crimson killers? Is that what you use them on? Metal collapses instead of routing. Why was the balance of power so 50 50? Grimgore, 3,000 gold value? You used it on Grimgore? Oh, okay. That's probably why the Crimson Kill has actually did something decent. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me. I gotta go clean for a little bit. Um, if you next see me on, I'll probably be on this channel. If not, I'll be on the main channel. We should get back to hobbying in, uh, realistically? Idol causes terror fear, so it made them run on low... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. It's weird, though, because, like, the pathing of large units, for some reason, if they can't connect with a target, even though the target's in melee combat, they just don't even attack. Like, I'm pretty sure the rogue idol didn't hit at least five to six times because it was staggered on nothing. That's a little bit weird, but it's fine. Uh, but, yeah, with that being said, I have to go. It's buggy for monster units. It's terrible. But it's fine. It's a fun game anyways. Uh, I'm out of here. I will be on later. Again, you'll catch me here or you'll catch me on the other channel. Uh, hobbying will be back in probably... I mean, what are we in right now? What month? We're in April. So hobbying will probably come back at the end of this month for maybe a week. And then in June, it'll be indefinitely every day. Because goddamn, get me off these forsaken video games. I want to scrape some plastic. But yeah, I'm out of here. Tomb King monsters are horrid for it. A lot of larger units seem to not really hit too well with, like, collision and pathing and all this stuff. But I don't know. Maybe they'll fix it one day. But yeah, either way, I'm out of here, folks. Take care. Be well. Stay safe. Uh, and I will see you all later. Maybe I should host someone, considering I had a host from the Great Book of Grudges. Maybe I should throw a host on another Warhammer person. There is a VTuber playing campaign. Okay. What about the actual Warhammer hobby? Okay, I'm going to throw a host on this guy. Or a raid. What do you call it? A raid? He seems to be doing uh, tabletop stuff. Reeser Rat. Reese, Reese, Rat. Did that even work? It didn't work. <laughs> how do you, how do you do this? Is it at? Exclamation mark raid. It's not working. 